The Myth of Medusa and Perseus One of the scariest characters in mythology is Medusa, the most famous of the three sisters known as the Gorgons. They appear for the first time in Hesiod's writings, in the work entitled, Theogony, which tells the story of three sisters, Southano, Uriel, and Medusa. These were Keta's daughters. Keta, or Seto, was the mother of all sea monsters in Greek mythology. The sisters bragged to every mortal they encountered, that they would live in the ocean until the end of time. The three Gorgons have not always been frightening. In fact, they were very beautiful women. That's why Medusa and the god of the seas, Poseidon, ended up having an affair. Unfortunately, this had happened in the temple of the goddess Athena. Considering this offensive, Athena turned Medusa and her two sisters into creatures with snakes instead of hair, and eyes that instantly turned anyone who looked directly at him, into stone. She practically made sure, that any man who looked into her eyes was turned instantly into stone. Athens also gave them bronze arms and golden wings. The same myth is told nearly in the same way by the Greek poet Pindar, but spiced a bit the story. Medusa was a beautiful and mortal woman. One day she went to the temple of Athens to worship. While she was there, Poseidon saw her and seduced, or raped her, and she became pregnant. Athena, annoyed by the desolation of her temple, turned her into an immortal monster. Eventually, Perseus killed the Gorgons. He succeeded because he had many strengths. He was the son of Zeus, and in battle he received divine help. The god Hades gave him the power to be invisible, by giving him his helm that had this ability. He received winged sandals for flying from Hermes, and a special sword from Hephaestus. But perhaps the most important thing was the shield of Athens, which made him invincible. And practically with all this help, and mainly with the help of this magic shield, Perseus guided himself by her reflection on this shield and beheaded Medusa as she slept. At that moment, the sisters of Medusa also appeared, who followed and tried to kill him. He used the gift of invisibility, received from the gods, and became invisible and escaped. While flying over Libya, with Medusa head in a bag, drops of blood spilled over the Libyan plain. Every drop of blood turned into a venomous snake. And that's the mythological reason why Libya abounds with serpents in our days. The power of Medusa's head was seen again when Perseus met the Titan Atlas. Perseus asked Atlas for a place to rest for a short time, but his request was denied. Knowing that he would not be able to defeat the Titan by his own strength, he took the Medusa head out and thus turned the Titan into a mountain. Perseus also met Andromeda, the daughter of the Ethiopian king Cepheus and his wife Cassiopeia. Using the head of Medusa, Perseus managed to save the princess, who was to be sacrificed to Cetus, a sea monster sent by Poseidon. He used Medusa's head to turn Cetus to stone while freeing Andromeda from her chains. So even after Medusa's death, her head had an immense power. This power made her almost invincible and probably for this reason she told mortals that she would live forever, until the end of time in the ocean depths. The myth of the Gorgons is found in every culture. The head of Medusa has a special importance in today's world. Its representation is used on protective amulets. One explanation may be that the name Medusa comes from the ancient Greek verb to protect, to guard. This was the story of the Medusa and the great warrior Perseus. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Mythos, the historian. And if you really did enjoy it, please like the video. And if you look forward for new videos on our channel please subscribe and click on the bell to be notified when new videos arrive.